Have you ever said to yourself, it's going to be once in a blue moon before we ever see a 10 millimeter ballistic gel test in a video on the internet? Well, guess what? It is a blue moon. August 31st in Tennessee, our second full moon of the month, so it's referred to as a blue moon. And yes, you are going to see a 10 millimeter ballistic gel test. And I'm going to try to do this outside under this blue moon and a couple of photography lights that are drawing quite a few bugs. But I'm very pleased that this is my first posting of an ammo test in 10 millimeter. And we're going with Underwood Ammo's configuration of the Spear Gold Dot 180 grain jacketed hollow point, bonded bullet, and technically a 40 caliber bullet loaded on top of this slightly longer 10 millimeter brass, approximately 14 hundredths of an inch or thereabouts longer than your 40 Smith & Wesson. So you're getting a little bit more juice, some more powder in there. And we're looking at 1,300 feet per second advertised velocity. That's anywhere from two to 300 feet faster than what you're going to find in a 40 Smith & Wesson 180 grain load. So how did we do in the Glock 20 SF barrel length approximately 4.61 inches. There are my five shots from 10 feet. You can see where this is going. Everything's coming in over the advertised. And there's the five shot average, 1,328 feet per second. And here's another number. Check that out. 705, 705 foot pounds of muzzle energy. Before we get to the test, a quick point of reference for the folks who may not be familiar with the 10 millimeter cartridge. This is a family of gold dots working left to right. Nine millimeter, 147 grain, 357 SIG, 125 grain, 40 Smith & Wesson, 180 grain, the Underwood Gold Dot that we're testing tonight, 180 grain, and then on the far right, 45 ACP, 230 grain. You can see right next to each other the overall length of the 40 compared to the 10 millimeter. Just enough gas in there to give it that much more velocity and energy. So next up is the block of SimTest Media calibrated to match specs of 10% ordnance gelatin plus four layers of denim, which is an IWBA protocol shot from 10 feet. No pass through on the 22 inch 50 pound block and I've noticed something that I don't recall ever seeing in this format on the entry point. I can actually look down inside of that channel through this opening and I've never had that before. I guess that's something you would see once in a blue moon. We're going to focus on the right side of this track as I was working through the middle of the block and the channel. Expansion beginning here about three quarters of an inch and this is why we could see in the opening. And again, I don't recall ever having that. We could see all the way to that point right there, and this actually peels back, as does all of this, and that's going about an inch deep, and that's, again, just one half of this block, so figure at least another half to three quarters of an inch on the other side. This all peels back, so it's a little deceptive as to what you can see, but this is about an inch deep, inch and a quarter to inch and a half wide, and this runs all the way up to right there, about the nine inch mark. I have not seen anything like that up to this point, nine inches. Now moving on along, how far do you think this will go? 15, 16, and leading edge, don't even look like a bullet. Leading edge is coming in right here at 17 and three quarter inches. And I have never, ever, seen a gold dot that look like that. I have not taken it out. I just tried to cut around it so you can see it. Looks like a freaking meteorite. This is the first time I've ever seen this. I don't know that I've ever heard of it happening. A spear gold dot, bonded bullet, and we have jacket separation. Well, this is a mess. The diameter of the core itself, the lead core, it's coming in just over half an inch. The diameter of the expanded pedals where I could get some measurements working all the way around. Average on that is 
And here's an added dimension. Overall length is .854 inches. Retained weight of the 10 millimeter meteorite is 177.5 grains, so I'm probably going to find a few fragments as I melt the block down and strain it for recycling. I have mixed feelings about all of this. I mean, the elements of the transaction itself are great. Availability, pricing, delivery, service, all of that was fantastic. Great experience. Shooting this, I mean, it's a 10 millimeter. It does have recoil, but I've been shooting a lot of 10 millimeter the last couple of weeks since acquiring the Glock 20, and I look forward to it. I enjoy it. I've just told myself that I'm gonna train up to being able to shoot this caliber effectively and so forth. So that's a, that's a whole other topic in itself. The test. Technically, jacket core separation is considered to be bullet failure. So I have to look at it from that perspective in spite of the, I won't call it expansion, I'll call it disintegration, and then this penetration. Some folks will say, well, the denim caused this. I, I don't know about that. I think it was the velocity. We may have an example here of the velocity really exceeding the performance envelope of the 180 gold dot. So I don't know everything, but I will say this is probably something you'll see only once in a blue moon.